captaining the ship. And uh, she's gotten us this far. <laughs> Definitely really chilly out today, and uh, I know you're not supposed to kayak when it's cold out, but you know what? We were really bored, and we spent most of the day in our antique booth, and we really wanted to get outside and do something fun. So, may I present? Okay, stay tuned. Alright, update. We didn't sink. That's where we were, over there. And uh, this is where we are. So, we'll put the drone up and uh, give you a tour. But we're gonna give a, a little walking tour right now first. Find a good place to take off. All right. All right, so La, La Island used to be a privately owned island. And the gentleman's last name was Law, obviously. And it was in the Law family for quite some time. I don't know the dates but I by heart, but I'll put them up. And um, they used it as like a vacation island, basically. Family and friends. There was a bunch of uh, permanent cabins out here. Uh, I think there was like five different cabins out here. When they uh, came and cleaned it all up, the state was donated the property at some point. And then the, now it's in the Champlain Land Trust or something, I believe. And there is primitive campsites on the island. And they come first serve, first come first serve. And we do plan on uh, camping out here. Since it's a little bit warmer than this. All right, I think we're going up right here though. Stay tuned. How you doing, Captain? Jen's first ride in a kayak, actually. Oh, I see an outhouse. Over there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to our first camping venture over here. It's got some pretty good views. I wish I would have been able to see it when all of the houses were here. Or cabins. Well, would you look at that? This is actually almost a good area to launch the drone. It's almost flat enough. But we'll see what's on this other side. I'm pretty sure there's a beach. She might actually be better. The geese are just raising hell out here. Mr. Squirrel. This is actually probably a good drone launch right here. Look at that little wee island out there. All right, well, we've decided definitely the campsite that we want to uh, to hit up when we do come out here is this one. This one is gorgeous view over there. It's got a, a really nice view. Just, I mean, check this thing. just nuts but we're gonna uh, we're gonna walk to the other side of the island see if we can find a good place to launch so we can show you where we're at here we go so there is a few remnants of the original law island cabins not much but this may have been originally part of one. It certainly looks like it.
There's the uh, outhouse over here. So you know, when you come over here, there is a place to, uh, to number two. Just make sure you bring some teepee with you. I don't believe they provide any in the facility. Pretty fancy. That's really gross, actually. It just all fills in in the bottom area there. Oh, yeah. And they've got it just like caged off so animals don't eat it. I could never. Yeah, that's. I'd rather go on the ground. <laughs> I'd rather go back to the house. Yeah, I mean, we're not far from civilization here. I live pretty close. Um. So our neighboring island over here, I cannot remember the name of it, <clears throat> but this one is actually privately owned. And there, there is a cabin or two on that one, I think. Maybe it's not that one. I thought so though. None of these really are, uh, are islands you can go to because they're privately owned. This is like the only one at least, except for that little tiny dinky thing out there. You are allowed to go to these two. Man, if I could get down there, that would be an excellent place to launch. Lots of flat ground. But some serious erosion on this uh, yeah. bank this side here. It's got me, got me nerving. Just the roots hanging like by a thread, literally. You can see right through this. Sketchy business. Alright. There is some uh, some remains of the cabins. Those are probably the uh, pipes they used for the plumbing. That is uh, an old uh, milk bottle crate. Get your uh, milk jugs in it. Oh, there's a dead box spring and a mattress right there, too. It's like a hot water heater, maybe. I don't know how, uh, I don't, I don't know the extent of the cabins. There was some pictures. I'll see if I can try to find those and maybe attach those to the video. Yeah, there you go. See? Look at that spigot. That is an old school. Yeah, I really wish I could have saw it then. Um, it's big timber. But yeah, they came out and they... I don't know, they probably buried most of the lumber. But they hauled a lot of it just right off the island. But there's definitely remnants. I swear there was a there was a car out here somewhere too. Seems <laughs> kind of crazy, but to build a shelter off of. right. He was born by the roadside. In a broken down carriage Came into life on the run Found on the doorstep Of a nearby orphanage No She had been born there in 
something. All the chimneys are built from the, the original chimneys. Oh yeah, that, we needed to have that there. Yeah, here's the rest of the chimney. The flue. There's the Five gallon drum over there. A bunch of other miscellaneous. That looks like top of the chimney. I would. There's the boat down there. That I would say is the kitchen sink. Nope, that's the gas can. That's another bed frame. Oh, some, some flow blue. Part of the stove though. That's a light fixture sc sconce, I think. Fishing pole. Yeah. All kinds of remnants of the, of the old cabin. Little cans and shit. This is the trail we should have come up. The boat's right here. <laughs> Suppose the drums could have just washed up here. They don't necessarily mean they were out here the whole time. There's the boat. All right. I think uh, I think we're done 
exploring Law Island today, which is uh, pretty badass. Uh, and we really just wanted to try out the new kayak. We just barely bought the kayak uh, two weeks ago um, with some stimulus money. And uh, we have so many adventures that we're gonna go on with this thing. It just opened up a whole new, whole new world of uh, options. So it's our uh, dry bag. Very important when you have electronics and water to have a dry bag. Maybe multiple of uh, multiple dry bags. It's really pretty out here. I wish we were spending the night tonight, but it is uh, it is due to get like 30 degrees tonight, so it is not the night to be camping. Hopefully in a couple more weeks though, we can get out here and uh, do a full-fledged night over. We'll uh, explore the whole grounds and get thorough. I'll bring extra batteries and lots of fun stuff. All right. We're going to get in this boat, and uh, Jen's going to paddle us home. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out of here. <laughs> we're going to be fine. All right, Jen is captaining the ship again. She's learning kayaking today. Oh, apparently I didn't press pause. There, there's pause. All right, there's the island. Clearly not very far from where we're going or where we're coming from. And uh, the water is really not deep here. We're uh, only in about two and a half feet of water. Right now. <laughs> She's doing a great job. Everybody give her a round of applause for her first, first time in a kayak. All right, we're out of here. See you. I don't know what that is. It must be a duck blind. But what will you use it for? They're not out here shooting ducks from there, are they? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> what happened, Captain? <laughs> You're not helping, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> well, I was just stopping to uh, view the, uh, the homeless shelter or whatever that is over there. I will row when you row. Don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>